Mr. Big City College Professor. Goodbye, Hatfield. Hello, Hollywood. Well, my little Claire Bell, you finally get to say goodbye to Paris because we're moving on up. <laughs> yeah, up a spooky hill. To a creepy house. Cool. An electric train is heading south. The wind is blowing out of the northwest. Which way is the smoke going? Electric trains don't have smoke, Dad. Yeah, but that creepy house does. California real estate's expensive. This place was a steal. I can see why. Treasure. Treasure? This place needs an extreme home makeover. Oh, more like an extreme home makeover. Scary. Wicked scary. It's a magnifying glass. You're talking about focusing solar power through a convex lens onto a focal point. Thanks. That's really useful information. Not. What's going on here? It's 2200. Come on, time to hit the sack. But what were you guys doing in here in the dark, anyway? Um, nothing. Uh, nothing. Let's go. Twenty-two hundred. <laughs>
should be so proud of yourselves. I can't wait for your father to get home and see what we've done as a family unit. Our big house is now a beautiful home. Better haunted homes and gardens, here we come. Hey, who drank my drink? Don't look at me. You drank it yourself. I even heard you slurp and burp. No, I didn't. I barely touched it. Well, maybe it was a ghost that drank it. Ooh. Ooh. It's the tickle monster. <laughs> <laughs> Downstairs for a nourishment. Transportation takes off at all 700 promptly. Let's go, let's go, let's go! That means you two sleeping beauty. Now move it, move it, move it! Dad. Another beautiful morning. Mom, can't you ever make something normal? Is Martha Stewart normal? Isaac, it's 0659. You're going to miss the bus. Boo, boo, boo. I'll make it. Oh, honey, wait. Have a great first day at school. They'll love you. I know we do. Speak for yourself. Mom. Success, son. Sweet success. Hey, wait up. <laughs> Must be new. I'm Carlton, your driver. Welcome to our crew. <laughs> Come on, gotta get, gotta get you to school. Cause if you don't learn, you'll be a fool. <laughs> it's the last stop. Come on, get out. Please, please, don't scream and shout. <laughs> Come on. Oh, welcome to Zimbabwe. Oh, that kid's in trouble, I cannot lie. And who said, now is the winter of our discontent, made glorious summer by this son of York? Excuse me, young man, this is high school literature. Junior high is uh, two buildings over. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm Isaac, Isaac Ackerman. I, I'm, I'm a junior actor. I'm so sorry. Well then, Mr. Ackerman, you can stand there gawking at the bodaciously beautiful, supple-skinned, booty-licious, ample-bosomed young filly? Or are you going to join us in the world of Shakespeare Tolkien, and my personal favorite, Jackie Collins. <laughs> Dude loves Jackie Collins. <laughs> Have a seat there, young man. The red represents hydrogen, the blue, oxygen. Two snaps, hydrogen. One snap, oxygen. And bam! H2O. Water. Great for drinking. Eight glasses a day for a perfect complexion and a well hydrated body. Bathing, depending on your nationality. And if you add a blessing, holy water. Great for exorcisms and killing vampires. Don't forget to turn in your assignments. What makes the world go round and round? Love or gravity? Or. Why do fools fall in love? One of these questions has no answer. Believe me. You. You are very, very special. More than you know. Tick-tock, tick-tock. 
Are they mere words or sounds of a clock? I... I, I don't understand. You will in time. Or... Maybe you won't. I can't be sure. Coach, I'm ready. Costume. It, it all looks so real. <laughs> yes. More than you can even imagine. Why has he brought you to me? For what purpose, I wonder? Because, because I crashed into the cheerleaders? <laughs> yes, yes. Finally, the child of the 13th sign. Your fate is mine to decide. I suggest that you not tempt it. Or me. Leave. And do it before I change my mind. I'm sorry. My girl? No, no, I, I, I see. I, I didn't realize I, I'm, I'm new here. Oh, oh. Well, uh, let me give you a little initiation and uh, show you around campus. Oh, Brock, you're not gonna do anything to hurt him, are you? Me? Pick on the vertically challenged. I have a reputation to uphold. Oh, you're such a sweet guy. See you after practice. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's go find you a better locker. Yeah! Get out of here! This isn't funny! Huh. 
What's the matter, honey? Didn't you have a good first day at school? Well, besides the fact that I got laughed at, humiliated, sent to the dean's office, and stuffed in a locker, it was great. It sounds full of opportunity and promise, son. Which reminds me, Clarabelle, I promised the chancellor we'd attend his Halloween party this weekend. He has selected moi to do a speech on Hollow's Eve. That's wonderful, dear. What about us? Yeah, who's gonna watch us? And more importantly, me. No, no, don't, don't look at me. I plan to hang out with friends. You don't have any friends. What is the only flying mammal? Bats. <laughs> Isaac, it's on 6.59, you're gonna miss the bus. Move, move, move! Turn off your cell phones. Place your belongings, including all now this, for those of you who don't know, is a pop quiz. No, you may not use a calculator. <laughs> and no, there will be no makeup exam. Mm. And yes, it will count towards your final grade. You have until the clock strikes 12. Again! What's up with that division? I mean, was impossible. The number inside of a number? Your was a math, though. Me? Yeah, I'm pretty proficient. I'm just pretty. <laughs> Thank God Miss LeCant doesn't teach here anymore. Miss LeCant? I mean, as an Anne Rice? Yeah. Yeah. Well, she used to teach here five years ago. She was into numerology and all this other weird stuff. Some kids who were failing her class complained she was in devil worship. Really creepy. Now, here's where it gets really strange. The day before she was going to get fired, she disappears. Along with all five students. And nobody's heard from them since. Yeah, and now every time a student fails math, they disappear on Halloween night. OK, this is weird. I think the old owners of her house were named Lacant. 999 Argyle? Yeah. That's the haunted house. Really don't want to be late. You Americans are always in such a hurry. Rush, rush, rush. We Europeans, on the other hand, are absolutely stunning. That long lines, a woman, I can really sink my teeth into. Going out in Holly Weird on this Halloween night, please be very careful. The mysterious maniac known only as the Grim Reaper remains on the loose. He is believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. If you see him, well, run and fast. Kids! 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 The Grim Reaper is no match for Arachnoboy! Yeah, I bet he's real scared. Yeah, real scared. You guys look just simply spooktacular. Now remember and listen to Arachnoboy. Exactly. Superfly here is in charge. And promise me, whatever you kids do, don't leave the house. It's dangerous out there. We'll be back before the clock strikes 12. And remember, even superheroes can be grounded. <laughs> Bye, I love you. 
Senior tradition, man. No way, my parents would kill me. Would you do it for me, Isaac Ackerman? My brother, kissed by a hottie? How that's scary. Uh, I, I, I still don't know. If you don't let them in, I will. Trick or treat! Yeah, I got stuck. Limbs in it. Oh, yeah. I really hope I don't live to regret this. You definitely won't live to regret this. Because Mom and Dad will kill you when they find out. What do you mean, when they find out? Whatever happened to if? As in, if you give me 20 bucks, I won't say anything. 20 bucks? It's like my entire allowance. Well, love don't come cheap. The hotter they are, the more they cost. And hot pink Barbie over there is definitely gonna cost you. Thanks. <clears throat> the frightened villagers try to appease the spirits with gifts of fruits and nuts. For if not placated, the villagers feared that the spirits would wreak havoc and destroy their property. I just hope we're doing the right thing, leaving the kids alone. The Grim Reaper thing really scared me. Oh, honey, Isaac is a very responsible young man. I think those kids are in fine shape with him. Not to worry. But you, Mademoiselle Ackerman, are in the grave of danger. Because... <laughs> one, ha, 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 and a two, ha, 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 and a three. Oh, you want to fight for your neck? George! Ah! Ah! What the heck was that? Why did Martha Stewart's name just happen? I think I just saw a bat.